What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Lee here, the bartending photo boothing rental guy. Today we're going to talk about hanging greenery ladders. So if you ever cruise through Pinterest for inspiration at, uh, for wedding decor and stuff like that, check out greenery ladders because these things are easy. All you have to do is slap together some sort of ladder or buy an old ladder and put greenery on it and then give hooks to hang it and all of a sudden you have a stunning piece. So uh, me and my wife, we saw some, we got inspired on Pinterest, we'll put it that way. We got inspired on Pinterest because I know that I need some centerpieces for my tent. So something to go over the center poles, kind of like a chandelier. So that's where we got the idea. So uh, stick around with me and check out how we built these bad boys. Can I get you to take all these down except for how many of those other ones did you want? I'm just going to take one of those. Okay. It's just one of each. Except So my wife said, get some greenery. And I did. So my wife had to stay at home with the kids. So I'm out at all the Michaels and Dollaramas uh, taking pictures of all the flowers and sending them to her saying, yeah, yeah. P.S. It was cold outside. That's why I was dressed like a buffalo. All right, on to the next store to find more flowers. Let's get those flowers. And that's just one Dollarama that I cleared out. Uh, we made three of these greenery ladders and uh, it's about 60, 60 greeneries that are on each one at three bucks a piece. So you do the math. Get some greenery! <laughs> <laughs> Is this gonna work? We'll, we'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll work with it. Pull off all those ugly flowers. Yeah. So I found this pre-stained driftwood that will probably work very nice for the ladder. So we're gonna go with that. Oh, the boards are eight feet long with two foot cross sections. Got it? Seven cross sections. Got it? It's cold out here, so we're gonna get this sawing done as quick as possible. So I'm taking the cord that I plug in my van with, and I'm going to plug in my saw with that cord. Quickly do these cuts and then get the heck back inside. <laughs> So then I lined the boards up on the floor and then I put a cross board in every 12 inches, seven boards, and then I screwed them in while my wife picked the flowers off. It was perfect. It was perfect. Actually, it was almost perfect. Check it out. So I tried using the shorter screw, didn't work. So you're gonna need to use a longer deck screw to get into them. So for this next part, you're going to want to get your staple gun and you're going to want to get your staples and you're going to want to staple it. Then I thought to myself, how am I gonna hang these things? And then I found eye bolts. This is an eye bolt. Get a big drill bit and pre-drill your hole through for your eye bolt to go in. Got it? Long 
hungry drill bits. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. Okay, so here's one like that. So I added some of these clips on here just to make mounting a little easier. So all in all, I think these wedding greenery ladders turned out pretty good. Uh, we made it so that uh, the plug-in lights that you saw at the start, the pendant lights, um, work with it when it's being used indoors. And then we have the lanterns from Dollarama that can be used for outdoor applications. So if it rains, that uh, nothing gets hurt. If you like this video, check out some of my other videos where I made different wedding pieces. And if you like these greenery ladders, then you might want to check out my next video coming up soon where I'm at the wedding show and I'll have these bad boys on display. So thanks for watching. Sub to the channel if you haven't. And as always, stay classy. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs>